This week is my first week as a Masters of Architecture student at the University of Westminster and boy, it was one crazy week. <laughs> Okay ladies and gents, welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome to my first week at university. This is my first week as a Masters of Architecture student at the University of Westminster and it's exciting. So I just thought I'm gonna bring you guys along and document my week and I thought I'd just do a bit of a commentary describing and explaining the week um, to bring you guys along with me. I'm a little bit ill, so bear with me. You can probably tell by my throat, um, but we're gonna get through this. We've gotta get the video done. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Breakfast is served. So the course officially begins on Monday the 27th of September, but this week is going to be inductions, introductions, and all those kinds of things to get us settled into the university, understand the course structure, the modules, the facilities. The first week is focused on inductions for the workshop, the metalworks, ceramics, laser cutter, and the CNC machine to get us used to the facilities and spaces. And boy, was I tired. <laughs> <sighs> The first day at university has already reminded me what it's like to study architecture. <laughs> I got back from uni at 7 o'clock, so I started university at 9 o'clock, ended at 7 o'clock, and I'm feeling pretty tired, I'm feeling pretty knackered. I got home about an hour ago, I've been chilling out, I've been relaxing, because I feel absolutely drained and I've just forgotten how, how much it takes out of you studying architecture and being in, in the long days, but it's all part of the fun. I'm not actually complaining. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. The idea of this induction week was to get used to the facilities and also get used to our peers, start interacting and being hands-on in the workshops, which I think was really good because it meant that we could learn so much and we could just get interacting with one another. And we were also given a mini project, which turned out to be not so mini because we literally spent the entire week working on it. And so basically to describe the not so mini project, there was a masked ball, which is essentially a ball we have to wear masks obviously because of COVID, where we will be joined by the vice chancellor, the head of school, the head of architecture, head of college. And the idea of the project was to interpret a dance that would actually happen within the ball. So they encourage us to do some kind of installation using light, sound and a stage to basically interpret some kind of dance abstractly, of course, quite conceptual, being quite fun and playful with it and using the workshops to produce something. And so our group chose tango, um, which as you can imagine was quite a difficult one to reproduce in of kind of installation format and we were in a group of six and they were all absolutely sound people i'm really close with all of them shout out the bandone young group <laughs> If they're watching this, they'd probably understand that joke. We spent the first two days discussing and planning our ideas and basically just playing around with materials, seeing what sounds they make, what light and shadow and those kinds of things. And just spent the first two days kind of just preparing ourselves. What well, another long day. I'm seriously not getting used to being back studying again. I think it's going to take some while to adjust. Definitely. But I needed to pick up a shop, so I've got my first big shop of the week. Um, I'm going to try and do kind of two or three big shops each week. Um, so this cost me 20 quid and I got some decent essentials. I've got quite a bit of stuff. I've been using Tesco Club Card and I've actually been saving a decent amount of money. Damn. Looks good. Got to have the garlic bread <laughs> because I literally can't have a meal without garlic bread. This is the stir fry. It's looking good. It's looking tasty. I'm going to eat this and I'm probably going to pass out <laughs> from a food coma. But that's what we want after a long day at uni. Good morning people, welcome to day numero three. Day three came along and this is where we had to pick up our work a little bit um, and we got really productive. We'd obviously spent the first two days planning, scheduling, sorting out what we needed to get done, what each individual was going to do, what we we're going to do in groups, etc. And today we needed to start really being productive and start nailing out some work because we've only had two days left before the ball, which was on Friday. So day three, I bought a suit. I ate some Chipotle and we seriously got working. We had a really productive day. We've started to produce some solid work. Our idea to interpret tango was to do an installation that resembled the bandoneon, which is a really famous instrument, a key instrument within tango. But basically it's accordion 
Um, you probably famously know it's a recording, but we called it a bandoneon. <laughs> bandoneon. We wanted to design something that was going to be interactive and that would move and basically kind of play like a bandoneon. So as you can see, the project began to take shape. We designed a series of frames that would replicate the leg of the male as they danced and tested how this would be hung. The legs had patterns cut into them to represent traditional Argentinian fabric. And this hopefully would cast some kind of interesting shadows. And we played with tights to represent the female in the dance. And we basically just went a bit wild. We just tried to replicate this bandoneon um, using obviously these frames, which would kind of represent the kind of pieces that come together with the bandoneon. And obviously within the instrument, there is fabric that kind of creates this tension and torsion. And so that's why we wanted to use tights to not only represent the female of the dance, but also kind of the tension between them dancing because tango is a very romantic and sensual dance. And so we kind of want to make it a really abstract interpretation of that. Productive day today, grab myself a suit. As I would have mentioned in the commentary, this Friday we've got our first project kind of presentation and it's a white tie event which I think is just pretty much just a black tie event but I'll, I'll have to check that up and I didn't have a suit on me and I've never actually owned a black suit so I had to go and buy a black suit basically and we're going to be looking we're going to be looking decent in this I'm actually looking forward to getting in a suit I always love getting in a suit getting all smart getting all dressed up and that'll be this this Friday I've just got back from uni like I've said, very productive day. We got a lot done in the group project, which is very, very good, which means that we won't be stressing tomorrow because it's the worst thing, obviously going into a project submission and not having the work done. And you end up spending the night before working until silly o'clock trying to get things done and stressing out. But we're in a good position, which I'm happy about. <laughs> Still noisy. <sighs> good morning, ladies and gents. The room's looking a bit of a mess at the moment because I did a wash yesterday. So, <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. But, yeah, good morning. Let's get the blinds open. Looks like a beautiful day again. Wow, yeah, look at that. Beautiful day. That is what we want. Good start to the day. Day four was hectic. That's all I'm gonna say. Day five was presentation day. Good morning people, welcome to day five, Friday and the final day and presentation day. So today is the big day where we've got to present our work that we've been working on. I've got the suit all ready. I'm actually looking forward to wearing a suit. I love putting on a suit on and getting all dressed up smart and everything and I'm excited. But today we still haven't finished the installation yet. We've got quite a bit to do. We actually have to work out a way of actually being able to hang it, which is obviously an important thing if you're doing something that's actually hanging. Um, but yeah, we're almost there, we're almost done. And then we've got the ball tonight at six o'clock where we'll be presenting the work to the vice chancellor, head of school, head of college, etc. It's gonna be a little bit daunting. My first week at university, I'm presenting to obviously some huge people at the university, but it'll be good, we'll nail it. Um, so yeah, long day today, but exciting day. We managed to finish all of the work, got it suspended, got it hung by around about four o'clock on Friday. The ball started at six o'clock, so we had to head home, get ready, get the suit on, get changed and everything. And yeah, we had a great time. Drinks was involved, beer was involved, wine was involved. So as you can imagine, <laughs> after we presented, we went a bit mad, we had a bit of fun, but that's obviously all part of the fun. We kind of really wanted to work hard in the week and then enjoy ourselves at the weekend. On the Friday, it was also Indy's birthday, so shout out to Indy. Happy birthday to Indy. Yeah.
yeah, that was my first week. As you can imagine, it was quite an interesting first week. It was quite an exciting first week. We were in university a lot more than I realized. We were literally in uni from nine till about seven o'clock every single day in my first week. And it was only induction week. That is mental. And so I actually properly start university on Monday, Monday the 27th, which I'm really, really looking forward to. I just want to kind of get started, get involved now. And it was a really good first kind of week of introductions to get used to the studios, getting kind of working in the workshops, getting thinking creatively again, and then also meeting some amazing people. And we've got a great group of friends now, which is awesome. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed my first week. So thank you ProPrep for sponsoring today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you next time. Peace.